Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my earth energies. And the first one we will do is Taurus. It's going to be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I will be using my Robin Wood tarot deck. And these messages are going to be for whenever they reach you. Okay, babies? There are some things going on in the home front that home needs me right now. And I'm at a point right now where I can, I've learned how to balance the two. So there'll be no clarification, but you will get your messages from me. It might be like this just for a short while. And for those of you who stick around, for those of you who join me, I welcome you always, my darlings. And always know I give you these messages from my heart to your heart always. And no life happens, life lives, <laughs> but um, it doesn't stay the same forever, you know? So, Taurus, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So we got the Six of Swords, we got the Ten of Cups, and we have the Page of Cups. It seems like things are coming, um, calming down in your environment. It seems like somebody came to your rescue, and things are really calming down. Relief is in sight, all right? Whatever it is that you're going through, there's relief in sight. We got the Ten of Cups. It could have something to do with the family. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, use your intuition and trust that everything will work out. You got the Six of Swords that fell out of the deck. And usually I don't read the cards that fall out of the deck, but I don't know. I was meant, somebody meant, was meant to hear this. So you got the Six of Swords. Relief is in sight, okay? It might not be there as yet. If you pay attention to this figure here, there, if this card, there is a figure that you don't see standing right there. <clears throat> you got the Ten of Cups, which is about happy family. You got the Page of Cups, which is about using your intuition. So you got the Hierophant here. It might be a family matter here. Um, whatever the situation is that took place, you gain some knowledge from it. All right. Now it could have, it might've been a marriage. We got the Hierophant on top of the Hierophant. We got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. Or maybe you got all the courage, you know, you found your courage and things are moving forward for you. We got the Page of Wands here. So we got, let me see. <laughs> the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. We have the page of wands. The page of page of wands is about news, about an exciting new opportunity for you. So whatever it is that you're looking for, and it does seem that something did happen with the family here. It seems like happiness is a thing of the past. Um, or maybe there, maybe there was. Um, well, we'll keep going. Could this Ace of Cups could either mean that not too long ago, maybe you did find love. It could mean that love is a thing of the past for you at this moment. You know, maybe there was some kind of, um, I don't know as yet. Maybe some kind of, I don't know. We'll keep going. So we got the page of cups here. Yeah, well, some kind of conflict here. We got the five of, there. maybe there was a conflict going on in the family. That's the five of swords here. This was conflict in your environment. It might have had to do with marriage, but there's a new beginning coming for you. There's a fresh new start. There's a possibility of a fresh new start. It's totally up to you. Are you willing to take the chance? We got the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about things feeling very heavy and new. Now, maybe when you get this news, even though it might be motivating to you, um, it might feel kind of heavy because you're going to have a tough decision to make afterwards. We got the Two of Swords, and that's a pretty heavy decision. This Page of Wands might be bringing in some kind of new opportunity for you. We got the Strength card. You found your personal strength. You're able to make your decision, but it's going to break your heart. Or maybe there's some kind of heartbreak here. What's going on, Taurus? Huh? 
Relief is in sight. There was something that took place with the family here. Some kind of heartbreak arguing. Let's keep going. Okay, so you got the three of swords there, which is about heartbreak. Maybe someone else was involved. You got some decisions to make in regards to love. It's all up to you. Are you holding on to it, like, unhealthily? And not wanting to let go? Because we got the temperance card. The temperance card is about patience and finding balance. We have the lovers. The lovers is about decisions of the heart. And we got the four of pentacles. Now, I'm going to show you the picture on the four of pentacles. Now, the four of pentacles, he, you know, it's usually about stability. But this deck here, is like, he's like mm, holding on, you know. And you do have to make a decision about the heart. So, are you holding on unhealthy, in an unhealthy way to this energy? Something that you should let go. You know, let it be. Oh, just breathe and let it out, you know. I know how hard it can be. I feel you, babies. I feel you. Come on, let's do this, okay? We're going to breathe in through our nose. What I should have told you first is we breathe in on the count of four, hold it for four, and we're going to breathe out to the count of eight. So you're going to let go, okay? Take a minute for yourself and look after you. Remember, you are important too, you know. Self-care is all part of this journey. And as hard as things may feel right now, there is relief in sight. Remember the first cards that fell out. So you got the temperance card. You need to find a balance. There's something that might be overdoing, some kind of moderation. You got the lovers here, choices or decisions about the heart. And you got the four of pentacles. And remember I told you I was going to show you what the four of pentacles look like. You see how grumpy that is? You see like how they're being like stingy, holding on and holding on and holding on, you know? So I don't know if that's your situation, okay, darlings? But it's nothing that you can overcome. Start loving you. Yeah, it's causing some chaos and confusion within you. We got the tower. We got the ace of swords. You're going to have some clarity or maybe it's going to be some hostile communication. There is conflict here. And you got the King of Swords. You need to set your boundaries. Or this could be an air energy here. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. You got the Tower. You got the Ace of Swords. Mental clarity or communication. Hostile communication. And you got the King of Swords. No matter what, things will work out. Relief is in sight. You need to trust yourself, okay? Things do work out. Things do work out. You hear me, babies? Things do work out. You have the hermit. You need to go within and do some soul searching. And trust me, you'll be amazed at what takes place. You got the magician. You have everything, all the magic stored within you to, to accomplish all that you need to accomplish. To bring in that happiness that you so desire. You go within and you find that happiness. Okay, baby? That love and that happiness is within you. When you find it within you, you will find it in your external. You got the hermit, you got the magician, and you got the four of wands. So Taurus, that's the message for you. It does seem like you have some decisions to make where the heart is concerned. There's a possibility of a new beginning, but it's totally up to you. You got the strength to make this decision. It's going to cause some conflict. Uh, well, maybe add, it may add to the conflict. But you might need to release this energy. Maybe it's time, okay? But only you can make that decision. No one else but you. I love you, darlings. We will chat soon. But So this is going to be for my Virgo. Virgo. 
I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Please know that I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Darlings, I do ask that you listen to the introduction of the video, okay? Um, there will be no clarification. I'll be using my Robin Wood tarot deck. I just, I'm, I'm, this is the way I can balance chatting with you guys, giving you guys messages and what's needed on the home front. So Virgo. So Virgo, this is for you. The Justice card, feeling balanced, giving and receiving, setting out with integrity. The Four of Swords, deep in thought about stuff. What are you thinking about, huh? Ooh, the Five of Swords, conflict. What's going on, Virgo? This is conflict in your environment. You feel like abundance is a thing of the past here. That's the Empress. You have the Tower. Chaos and confusion. What's going on, Virgo? This is a moment of chaos and confusion that really shook you up, that made you feel like abundance was a thing of the past. It was like an argument. But you got the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups is about using your intuition. We got the Hanged Man. This argument has made you feel stuck. Whatever is going on makes you feel stuck. It makes you feel like you can't go this way and you can't go that way. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about this is feeling very heavy on you. This argument did a number on you. That's the Ten of Wands is feeling heavy. We got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is you, Virgo. Know how to take care of the money, but something is feeling a little heavy for you right now. Some, some type of ending. That's the Ten of Wands there. That's the Ten of Swords. That's an ending. This ending hurts, like really, really hurts. And right now, you might not be able to see the relief or feel the relief of this ending. But there will be relief, okay? It might have to do, of course, with love. I mean, there's an ending here. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the World card. It's, it, it comes to an end. It's time. It's over. But you need to go within and you need to let go of things that no longer serve you, okay? Where this situation was concerned. You have the Ace of Cups, you have the World, and you have the Judgment card. Then you have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Swords. A decision is coming very fast. This ending has a broken heart here, but you need to make the decision. It seems like you're the deciding factor in it. Whatever is going on here. You're the only one that can make the decision. You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Two of Swords, which is a tough decision for you. And you have the Three of Swords. Well, Virgo, you're going to make the right decision, okay? There's good fortune in the future here. <laughs> we got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about a fresh new start for you. A good fresh new start, you know what I mean? We have the Three of Wands. Things are expanding for you. Maybe you're going on a trip somewhere, but maybe you're waiting for something to come in. Whatever it is, babies, it's coming. We got the Ten of Pentacles, and it's coming unexpectedly. This is a windfall of financial abundance. Something abundant is coming in and it's unexpected. Things happen, you know, in life. We go through arguments and we go through ups and downs, but we always come out on top. The thing about it is you have to believe in you because only you can create your reality. Trust and believe in you. All right, Virgo, you got this. You got the Wheel of Fortune, you got the Three of Wands, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. And I'm going to leave that right there for you. Darlings, you know I love you dearly.
<laughs> okay. So Virgo, that was for you. Something abundant. So darlings, this is going to be for Capricorn. And we're going to see what message or messages we have for you. Please look at the front of the video, babies. Um, I do have a few things going on in the home front. I can now balance both things. Um, these are going to be short, sweet messages for you. There will be no clarification for the time being. But no, I'm going to come here as often as I can to give you messages. I do love you guys. And I'm so grateful for all of you who did stand by me, who always stand by me, who stick by me. And please always know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Always take what resonates and leave what does not. So Capricorn, this is going to be for you. So Capricorn, this is for you. You have the Empress, abundance. Could also mean fertility. Ooh, and then we got the sun. Now that could be children, I don't know. But that's about happiness, success, success and joy. Okay, Which of course, when you are pregnant, then you do feel that way. I'm just saying, okay, I ain't saying that so. We got the wheel of, we got the ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. That's about an abundance. Oh my goodness. That's about abundance. That's about a new financial opportunity. There's something here for you, Capricorn. Finances, of course. Not too long ago, you had mental clarity or something was clar clarified for you. Or maybe you received some new inf information. You need to start using your intuition. Trust yourself and no one else. <laughs> you got the five of cups. You're feeling a little upside down. Now, to me, this five of cups is like you're feeling upside down over something that happened in the past. Okay, like the past past. You might need to go and visit that part so you can heal from it. Okay, babies, there's no need for you to be carrying stuff that long. It's time we start letting go of the things that have been holding us down or holding us back. You have the Page of Cups. Use your intuition. Open your heart. And this new beginning is going to be right there, darlings. Open your heart. Forgive yourselves, babies. Right now, things might be feeling a little heavy on you. And that's because you're thinking about the past. We got the Temperance card here. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. You will find the balance that you so seek. You have the Ace of Cups, which is about love. You're going to find balance where love is concerned. You got the King of Pentacles. I say that's you, Capricorn. We got the Ten of Swords. And we got the Eight of Swords. What's going on, Capricorn? I see you looking back at something here. And something about the past is bothering you. But there seems to be some kind of ending here. Like something that got you pretty tied up inside. There was an ending. You, you've... This to me feels like you're tied up in here, in here. I got goosebumps for you guys too. Um, there was some type of ending for you that got you really tied up. This is a tied up feeling that you can get out of. This past that you're looking at, heal from it and you will be able to untie yourself. You have the King of Pentacles and your very magical energy, you know. With all this on top of you here, you're blocking your magic. You got your King of Pentacles, you got the Ten of Swords, and you have the Eight of Swords. You're pretty tied up because of this ending, whatever it was. Stop worrying. There's celebration on their way. There's going to be news worthy of celebration. You are going to have some choices. But you got to stop worrying about the financial aspect of it. You have the Three of Cups. You have the Seven of Cups. 
and you have the seven of pentacles now the seven of cups is about your choices just don't take forever to make your decisions okay there's news worthy of celebrating there are your choices the Seven of Cups, and then that's the Seven of Pentacles. That's about worrying. Stop worrying. You have the Hermit here, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and you have the Two of Cups. You have the Hermit, you have the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Go within and release that worry. Go within and release that worry. Whatever it is that your heart is desiring, it's coming really fast, okay? We got the Eight of Wands and we got the Two of Pentacles. The two, the, ah, why do I keep saying, maybe y'all coming into some money, man. Somebody coming into some money. I keep saying Pentacles. I keep, I said the Eight of Pentacles. I said the Two of Pentacles. And it's the Two of Cups. But I keep saying pentacles for you guys. Maybe you, maybe somebody need to hear that message. Stop worrying about the money, okay? Maybe there's some magic about to happen. We got the hermit. We got the eight of wands. And we got the two of cups. The two of cups is about a good partnership. It's about mutual attraction. It's about a healthy union, okay? And it's coming fast. So go within and let go of your worry. You have the Hermit, you have the Eight of Wands, and you have the Two of Cups. And with that, my darlings, I love you. You take care of yourselves. We can make anything work in life. You hear me? No matter what's happening. No matter what is happening. The thing about it is stop second-guessing yourself and stop worrying. You know what I mean? Stop worrying about things we can't fix. You know? Like how it took me a little while to get back here and be able to balance taking care of home and taking care of you guys, same way you can do it, you know? We, we just have to balance. It takes a little time sometimes. And remember, tonight is a new moon. I love you guys dearly, and I definitely will chat with you soon.